Hello and welcome to Farming Simulator 19. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on Different Struggles and how poor part of the Different Struggles part um, game. So, um, harvesting, this is our last field. I did ex actually, <laughs> I returned uh, the small Rostel Rostel mash uh, harvester and got the big one and a bigger header because it was taking so long. I spent slightly more on this, but it's okay. We are currently uh, harvesting Rogan, which I had no idea what we would translate that, that into English. Or if it's English, I don't know. But it's Rogan. I don't I, I would think Rye, maybe? Maybe Rye? I'm guessing Rye. Um, sounds like Rye. Sounds like it should be Rye. So. Uh, we're harvesting this. I don't know how much we can sell it for. Uh, if we can sell it, I don't know what the price is, but we'll figure it out. We're just putting everything in the farm for, for now, and then we'll go sell it later. Um, the oat price for oats were kind of crappy, to say the least. <laughs> um, I'm trying to wait for oats to the price for oats to increase slightly because I want to sell it at a bigger price than I can get currently. So we'll. We'll hold off a little bit on that. Uh, see. But we have this field. It's kind of a big field, but I will with this header we'll do it pretty fast. Not as fast as this episode is going to be long, but we'll do it pretty fast. Um, as you just saw on the other one, on the episode, I uh, I was done harvesting there, but I spent so much time. I actually looked at if the numbers, the statistics of how much I played. So I had played like 36 hours on the other map, uh, and I played 50, played 15 on this. So it takes about twice the amount of time to uh, do this to do the same things on that map as on this map. So S slight difference, actually, a big difference. There, but oh, we'll see. Uh, after that, I need to go bail this. Uh, all the straw I got, uh, so I need a baler. I'm gonna rent a baler, I'll contract that out. Uh, well, it cost me a little bit. Uh, my main problem is I don't really know where to store everything. Store the bales, I have to store them indoors, I guess, so they don't deteriorate. But I'm not exactly sure where to do that. But uh, we'll figure that out, that one out too, I guess. So this is the Crisoni header, I think. It folds up. I thought it was nice, cool. Uh, I like that one. So. I don't know how common it is to uh, use contracting. I think it's more common than I thought before. I thought you would like just use contracting if there was something special on a farm and that most farms had all the equipment they need, but uh, I don't. I actually think that's true. I think uh, some smaller farms do a lot of con contracting, um, and some don't. Some haulers, because you have a ton of equipment that you don't use too much. Uh, for instance, if you have a combine that will sit mostly idly in a barn most of the year uh, and not do anything, and it's used intensively during one part of the year, but otherwise it's not used, so it's not the most efficient way of using equipment. The equipment tries to get that sorted out in, I think Klaus had a, was it Klaus? Hmm, I think it was Klaus. He had an idea that he have different implements on that would harvest, for instance, and that sort of stuff. And I, I remember, distinctly remember from being a child, had this, um, 
toy was was a tractor and there was an attachment to it, it was basically a the um, combine header and a sort of thresher and, and that sort of stuff uh, all in one thing and you put that on your tractor and then you would go a combine with the tractor so I haven't seen any of that, those in FS19 but they were kind of cool you just put on tractor and then you would do it so I think there's been some ideas historically where you try to combine things into more use so you don't have to have big vehicle with engines and stuff on it just for combining or plowing or that sort of stuff. Well, I guess plowing. Most most things on the farm is actually done using tractors or I guess it's some parts that are specialized. exciting things to do but well do it I don't know if we'll get a ton of we'll get some right of this if it's right I don't know we'll get some of it of this field uh, a small farm, small stuff, still waiting for the cows to produce some milk and uh, it'll be in a bit like win winter or something. So we need to have <coughs> sorry. I really need some food during that time. I need a straw, so that's why we want to collect the straw we get off the field. So we can actually um so we can actually use the stuff we get off the field for our farm. To reduce the cost, because now we're very cost efficient. Uh, uh, co cost and where, not aware, cost minded. It's probably the word I'm looking for. Because now we don't have a ton of money, so we want to save money as much as we can on as much, much tasks as we can. So um, not having all the equipment we use is one way of doing it. Leasing is quite an inexpensive way to do this because it's not a big farm. We don't have a ton of fields. So and it's not too expensive to do this. So that's one way of keeping costs down, not owning the equipment we have all we have. Not that it actually costs that much to own, it costs much to a lot of money to buy. But just keeping it running doesn't actually cost very much. But it's one way um, another way is to keep a close eye on your expenses it's all, it's the incomes aren't really that decisive it's how much you spend of your income is what matters from my experience So we try and keep an eye on our our expenses. That's it. But as I know, we need to do some stuff. So we can't do. We need to do some stuff to keep the farm running. So it's a balance between spending money and earning money. Always.
4,000 liters, yay! I'm getting there slowly but surely. This was like 10,000, I think. Another one had 4,500, but this is quite a lot more. So we're gonna have to empty this too soon. Thing is, you want to bail everything, and you want to bring the bail indoors, otherwise they'll deteriorate quite fast. On, on the other map, the Gamondo Rider map, the Rada map, they, I left the bales out. I, I even it was kind of raining, so I guess that had something to do with it. But it wasn't too long, like a couple of hours in the rain, in the game in real time, and um, they deteriorated from last ones at least. It deteriorated from four thousand liters to three thousand nine hundred liters. So they deteriorate quite fast if they left out in the rain uh, and mm, the way deterioration works in farming sim is that they mm, hold less amount basically which is interesting because then I could sh figure you should be able to unload a bale with a smaller amount of now, now you have to unload a bale when it's full but I think you should be able to unload it when it's semi full because the bales can be semi full, so shouldn't be an issue. But I haven't found a way to undo that. I haven't found a way to unload the bales semi full. Maybe there's a mod, I don't know. Doesn't seem to work on the way it's set up currently, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's see. Mm. I have no. If I knew how stuff looked in real life, I would. That looks almost like pellets, <laughs> like tree pellets, uh, or which pellets? I don't. I guess that's Rogan. Rogan. Which might be right. Or might not be right. I don't know. Could be right. Could be not. I don't. I have no idea. Two laps, that's 5,000, so 2,500 liters per round. But it gets smaller as we go around here, so it will decrease as we get closer to the middle. I hope the stuttering isn't back. I'm not sure about that, but I hope, I hope the stuttering isn't back. Well, I don't know. Uh, I like this tractor over here. This is a nice tractor. We have a nice tractor. It's good. It's pretty powerful. You can handle most tasks on the farm quite easily. You can pull that even though it's full very nicely. It has good tires, quite wide, so it good traction. It's a nice tractor. Well, I'm gonna stop recording there. Anyway, thank you for watching. Next episode we'll probably do baling or we'll do mini mini manure spreading or something to prepare the peels the next time and or maybe feed animals. We'll see, we'll get around to that one. Um so I'm Andy. This has been the Let's Play on Difficult Different Struggles, which are two maps I play consistently after one each other. One of each other one uh, one and the other. One and the other, I mean, sorry. Um and uh, uh, kind of cool, shorter episodes, but uh, I, I basically basically the same if you combine the two episodes. Um, but seeing how the, the everything works and using real numbers mod, is, that's the key here. I'm actually trying to run this farm as a real farm and that's interesting and m you need to be mus much more cost efficient <laughs> than, than otherwise. So, great to hope you like the channel. If you like the channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment or share, and I will see you next time. 
Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.